Okay, as it stands, the Wolfpack have lost two brains from the final round. Eggheads are still there, all five of them. The next subject is sport. Is that good? Tough one, who are we going to choose? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've uh, that's this me. one. Okay, that's me. Luke on sport against which egghead? Um, you do think? Uh, I'll take on CJ, please. So Luke from the Wolfpack, CJ from the Eggheads, please go to the room, the question room. So Luke, we're on sport. Tell us about your football. Uh, I play for a five-a-side team. We've been quite successful over the years. We've now won uh, eight league titles. Um, and we actually, a couple of seasons ago, went unbeaten for the whole season. And we got our picture in the, the Echo with a, Liverpool Echo with a little article about us. Oh, brilliant. That must have been great. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, it's good fun. Nice competitive games. OK, would you like to go first or second? I'll go first, please, Jeremy. So here we go. In 2015, which Manchester City footballer was named African Player of the Year for the fourth year in a row? Was it Samir Nasri, Wilfred Boney or Yaya Toure? Well, I know it's not Samir Nasri because he's French. Um, and I know that it was Yaya Toure. Indeed, Yaya Toure. Who plays what, midfield? Yeah, central midfield. Yeah. You don't look as if you know anything about that, CJ. I've never heard of any of those three people. Here's your question, not about football. Which darts player, nicknamed The Menace, won the BDO World Championships in 1991 and the rival PDC World Championships in 1994? Is this Dennis Priestley, Keith Della or John Lowe? I think both Keith Della and John Lowe were at the height of their powers slightly before that. Dennis Priestley, I'm fairly sure, well, at least reasonably sure, has won both. And if you're called the Menace and your first name is Dennis, there's certainly a clue there, so I'm going to go for Dennis Priestley. I was, I was going to say, I thought you'd, you'd missed the Dennis the Menace <laughs> thing, my goodness. Dennis Priestley's correct. Luke, your question. Which of these English rugby union players earned over a hundred test caps. Jason Robinson, Martin Johnson, or Jason Leonard? Oof, that's a tough one. I don't think it would be Jason Robinson because he came over from rugby league. I think because he captained the side, I'll go with Martin Johnson. Anyone know here? Jason Leonard. Jason Leonard <laughs> is the answer, Luke. <laughs> All right, CJ's chance to take the lead. Jahangir Khan was unbeaten for over 500 matches in which sport during the 1980s? Squash, badminton or tennis? Uh, it's probably the, if not one of the greatest, probably the greatest ever squash player. Squash is correct. So he's in the lead, guys. You've got to stop him, Luke, with this answer. In 2015, Michelle Payne became the first female jockey to win which prestigious horse race? Arc de Triomphe, Melbourne Cup or Epsom Derby? Uh, we actually had this question come up in a, one of our recent quizzes and I know that it's the Melbourne Cup. It is, well done, Melbourne Cup, nicely done. Okay, CJ, this for the round. In January 2015, which cricketer scored a century in a record 31 deliveries while playing in a one-day international against the West Indies. Was it A.B. de Villiers, Shahid Afridi or Luke Ronke? Did read this as well. Did see this story. I don't think it was de Villiers. Um, I think there's something in the back of my mind telling me he'd retired anyway. I don't know this, but I'm going to go for Luke Ronke. It's wrong key, but it's wrong anyway. Yeah. A.B. de Villiers it's here, it's is the answer. So equal after three. There we are, Luke. And a little bit of daylight there. Yeah. Goes to sudden death. I don't give you alternatives. Here's your question. Which English footballer won the European Footballer of the Year Award in 1978 and 1979? I happen to know this because he played for my team and that is Kevin Keegan. Yes, it is Kevin Keegan. CJ, which Norwegian runner 
won the women's London Marathon four times between 1984 and 1988. Ingrid Christensen? Ingrid Christensen is right. Back to you, Luke. In October 2014, Michael Chaker was appointed head coach of which country's rugby union team? I recognize the name. The name came up a lot during the World Cup. Um, I think that it's Australia. It is Australia. Well done. You're still very much in it. <sighs> CJ, this to stay in. In 1984, the New Zealand sportswoman Narrowly Fairhall competed in which event at the Olympic Games, thereby becoming the first paraplegic competitor to compete at the Olympics? I haven't heard this, so it has to be an educated guess. Don't know, I'll try archery. Archery is right. <laughs> Sorry, Luke. Back to you. Which German skater won the women's figure skating gold medal at both the 1984 and 1988 Winter Olympics? I have to admit, uh, German skating is not one of my strongest subjects. Um, no, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to pass. Do you know CJ? Katarina Witt. Yes, it is Katarina Witt. So sudden death, if CJ gets this right, he's in the final. In 2009, which female tennis player became the first mother to win a Grand Slam singles title since Yvonne Goulagong Cawley in 1980? He was around at the time. Justine Ennan was there. Kim Kleisters. Kim Kleisters could have been a mother at the time. Don't know this, I would guess at Kim Kleisters. Kim Kleisters is the right answer, well oh. done. <laughs> All right, well, sorry, Luke, you've been knocked out by CJ. Good old round, though. Yeah, it was. What a battle. battle. Now come back to us and we'll see if the challengers can turn it around. So, guys, it's not a crisis yet, is it? No. No, <laughs> it's, 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 come back. it's near. It's near a crisis. The Wolfpack have lost three brains out of three from the final round. The eggheads are still sitting there, all five of them. Now see if you can take one out on arts and books. That is the next subject.